champion. That's the guy who stepped up and uh, said he'll take the fight. So that's the guy who stepped it. He's a top five welterweight. Errol here. How's it going, Errol? Um, Errol, you're going to fight Peterson next. I know, I'm sure you've seen Roman fight over the years. He's been one of the top guys, both at junior welterweight and also at welterweight. Can you just give you your scouting report on what you think about him in the ring? He's, he's been a little bit inactive, um, but he's certainly uh, proven himself to be a, a quality contender, a champion over the years. He's a hell of a fighter. He's somebody that I, that I looked up to as an amateur. He's somebody I sparred in the amateurs and, um, you know, learned a lot from. I was uh, had a training camp with him at the Liberty Training Center. You know, he gave me, you know, different stuff and different advice, you know, and uh, how to punch and how to slow down my punches and how to speed them up. So, um, you know, he's a guy that, you know, that I, that I really look up to. And, um, you know, he's one of my favorite fighters. He's a guy I fight anybody. You know, I never know him to... You know, duck a fight or say no to a fight. He always fought the best. Like look at Matisse, say Tim Bradley, you know, all these tough names. You know, fought Victor Ortiz. So um, I'm looking forward. Lamar has true grit. He's a he's a real fighter. He's a guy that you know gives it all and uh, has a has a big heart. So I see it as being a great fight for me. Uh, Keith, for Keith over here. Uh, Keith, uh, I know you said you. Uh, there's no opponent as of yet for your next fight, but you're going to look towards the winner of the Sean Porter, Adrian Granados fight as a possible opponent, seeing that Sean's kind of fought his way into contendership and beating Andre Berto earlier this year? Uh, even with, um, I know how eager Sean wants to get back in the ring with me and uh, do the rematch, but I don't think that I'll be taking that level of a fight coming off of my injury. I think we're going to get just a uh, welcome back fight. Um, throw the throw the arm around, test it out, have a good camp, injury free camp. Then take the momentum from that, and there can possibly uh, we can get in the mix with uh, Sean after that. Um, I I'd be surprised if that's the first name coming back. You know, I mean, you're talking about you're talking about a a, a whiplash accident that I experienced in 2017, then having a, um, recovering from that, having an eight week training camp, fighting Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, you know, surgery, and then coming back and fighting Sean Porter. So, I mean, that's a, that's a dog after a dog after a dog, you know what I mean? So, um, we, we might not run that deep when we jump right back into the sport, but um, you best believe once when I brush the dust off, that uh, we'll get moving and get right back to work against top quality fighters in the Waterway division. Is Sean Porter next for you? Are you not sure? No, I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, he obviously can be in the near future. He is one of the fighters I believe that deserves um, the rematch. I believe uh, the fans here that came would come again and definitely support that show. It was nominated fight of the year. So um, uh, simple, simple business to uh, make that rematch happen. I'm not against it, but I just don't see that manifesting from my comeback. Hey, right here. Um, the first question is uh, for Errol. Um, since you're fighting in January, um, you've been unactive, no fault of your own. But do you see 2018 being a year of three fights? Uh, definitely. You um, know, I talked to my manager about that, about fight being more active. And um, you know, I felt like I'd come back this year. But um, come back next year, and um, it looks like I I probably will be fighting three times next year. Okay, and um, this question is for Keith. Um, so you have to do a training camp, and that's going to be about eight weeks. So it's realistic to say, realistically realistic to say that you're going to be back in, um, but you said late February, about March or so. Yes. Sir. So you're going to be fighting someone. It's guaranteed in the top fifteen to be the WBC or the WBA, correct? That should be correct. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. We're not. We're not. Like I said, we're not looking at anybody in particular right now. I'm still kind of focused on uh, my rehab for the next four to six weeks. That's pretty much what's on my mind. But from there, eventually we'll start seeing what manifests through uh, our team 